Hi, my name is Mike and I'll be your server for the evening. It's funny, when you think about what networking is all about, most people will say, well, it's sharing information or physically connecting computers with cables or, or looking at a web page. And I'm not saying any of those are wrong, but if you really want to understand what networking is all about, you have to appreciate that there are servers, there are systems out there that have resources, and there are clients those of you who would like access to these resources. And that's what it's all about. What I want to do right now is take a few minutes and make sure you understand the idea of client versus server and to appreciate that a client and a server is nothing more than software that know how to talk to each other. Let's use a great example, a web browser. All right, now I want to show you a client and server in action. So to do this, I have set up the internet. This is the internet. Okay, I'm kidding. It's not the internet, but it's kind of like the internet because it's a very, very, very small version of the internet because it's only two computers. That's it. So what I've got, uh, starting way over here, I've got my laptop. And it's an old, ugly laptop, but it's actually very, very powerful. And it is connected to this box. You can see this blue cable. So it comes into this box, which at least for the moment I'm going to call a hub. And then that hub creates also a connection following this other blue cable going across and you'll see that connects into the back of my computer. So I have two computers connected together right now and that's their only connections. We're not connected to the internet or anything. I mean, they have wireless capabilities but I've got that turned off for right now. So what I'm going to do is show you how we connect to a server. Now what's interesting is that this laptop is actually running a web server. It's, it's a web server, and there's a web page and everything, okay? And I'm going to fire up good old Internet Explorer on my beast here, and we're going to access it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this web browser up. Now, that is a page from when it was connected to the Internet, so we're going to ignore that for a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the name of my computer, Welcome to Mike's awesome web page, circa 2001. Obviously, I didn't make this, but somebody else found that very, very funny. I wonder who that is. Now, what's interesting is that we've, we've opened up web clients, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. Those are web clients. We use those to access web servers. But what I want to do now is I want you to go look on my laptop here and let me show you what a very typical but simple web server looks like. So here's my laptop, and it's just running regular uh, Windows 7 Ultimate right now. It's not running anything fancy at all. And you can't see anything going. That's because servers don't need an interface unless you're making configuration. So if we take a look, that is my web server running. That's all there is to it. You don't need big interfaces or anything. All these web pages and stuff are developed at other places and just uploaded to this guy on an ad needed basis. It actually does have a web based configuration screen so I can like turn the web server on and off and things like that and decide where the web pages are and all of that type of thing. But this is a web server. See this always blows people away when they first see servers because they think that the server has to be all fancy and all that stuff. Why does the web server have to show you the web pages? Its job is to send web pages to clients, but it in and of itself doesn't have to do that. And that's so common on anything from uh, systems that are streaming videos or music or e even your hard drive. Just because you're sharing a hard drive and other people are accessing it, that doesn't mean you have to see the contents of that particular folder or that particular hard drive on the serving system. But no matter what happens in the world of networking, you will always have a client and you will always have a server. Everything else is just what you have to do to connect these two guys so that the clients can access the resource that the servers are serving.